Why is medical marijuana suddenly the hot topic that it, it is? I, I have my theory. I'd love to get it from you. You know, I, I, I just think it is part of the reason is, is we're coming up to another set of CBA negotiations. Mm -hmm. It's something that players have wanted. Uh, we've seen players like Eugene Monroe say they believe it's an effective tool for pain management. We've seen a reluctance on the league's part to admit that. You know, over and over we've heard Roger Goodell say, we'll wait until the, 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 the science gets there on this before we, we are willing to take that step. We'll, we'll wait until the medical experts believe that it's, it's a viable and useful tool for pain management before we take that step. But, but now we've seen a tangible action taken with the league and the union agreeing to study this issue cooperatively as part of one of the new medical committees they form. So I, you know, I, I think part of it is the changing attitudes in the country, the changing public policy we've seen around the country. But also part of it is that you, you, see, you have another big negotiation coming up for another CBA. This could be an issue in it. This is potentially something that the league and the owners can give to the players presumably with, with wanting something else in return. So I think you, you throw all of those factors together in, in the different climate we have politically in this country with the changing attitudes and the changing laws about marijuana. You put that all in the mix together, and that's why we are where we are. I think you're spot on, Mark. I think it's something that's officially on the collective bargaining agreement negotiating table. There's no question about it. I, yes. think, I think the players Absolutely. clearly have an indicated that they want it, and I think this is an indication that the owners are saying that they're willing to give it. The question is, is what else is on the table? What, what will be on right. this CBA right. table as we're what, now what, eight what, years into the, the 10 years? Well, you know, what's the second, what do the players have to give up to get it? That's the second part that we don't know yet. Well, I mean, what, what, are the, what else do the players want? I mean, because again, the franchise you know, tag I, is the franchise tag is one thing, and so is also player discipline. Right. But that affects only right. player, a, a player small percentage of the one. players. Right. And you know, to me, you know, you're going to have all these things in, in the mix. You're going to have marijuana in the mix. You're going to have player discipline in the mix with the union wanting changes on that. You, you, we may go back at some point to, to are the owners going to revive a longer season? Are the owners going to revive more teams in the playoffs as a means to get more revenue? But but to me, you know, as we launch into the CBA. Again, it all comes down to can you agree on the central issue, how to divide up the money, how to divide up the revenues. If you can agree on that, then sort of these other things fall into place. Yes, there will be haggling. There will be trading back and forth. But to me, if you can agree on how to, to, to divide up the money, you'll, you'll settle all the other things at some point. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.